and welcome to the presentation which is aimed at learners who are interested in taking an A-level in fine art here at Wooden Park School. So why study the arts? Those with a wide skill set have an advantage in any career. Art enhances your fine motor skills, hand-eye coordination, your problem-solving skills, lateral thinking, complex analysis and your critical thinking skills. So no matter what career you choose, those who can arrange, present and display material in a way that's aesthetically pleasing definitely have an advantage over others. Outstanding marks in any subject indicate skill, intellectual rigour, strong work ethic and a commitment to fulfil one's potential. All of these things are desirable traits in an employee or a university applicant. Art marks are not solely dependent on an exam. Within this course, you'll have a 60% coursework unit and a 40% exam unit. Some students prefer coursework based subjects as they're able to prove their development across a two year period. Art makes contributions to your well-being. Within this department, we will support you in exploring your own thoughts and your own ideas in a very nurturing environment. A-level fine art is a two year course. It's examined at the end of your year 13. In year 12, you will study a foundation in fine art. Here we help you to develop your own analytical skills as well as your drawing and painting skills. Personal investigation comes next. This is where you will select a theme to work from and you'll be expected to create a large body of work that takes you on your own independent and artistic journey. So the themes that we're looking at this year, aging and growth, memories and nostalgia, myself and distortion. You need to choose which direction you'd like to go in and we will support you in investigating that particular area in order for you to create a large body of work. This will help you to be prepared for year 13 where you'll have to begin your component one. And this is where you will delve into the practical activities that you have found great skills with. So we'll expect you to complete sketchbook work as well as final outcomes and an extended piece of writing. You'll select your own area of interest to investigate. You must make sure that you cover all four of the assessment objectives in order to complete component one. In component two, you'll have an externally set assignment, the starting point of which is provided by the exam board in January of year 13. The prep work you must complete ahead of the final outcomes will reflect your growing independence and understanding of the different techniques that you've been exploring. Your final outcome will be a 15 hours final piece under supervised time. In both sixth form years, you will advance your knowledge and understanding of materials, techniques and processes. You'll extend your awareness of artists and photographers by not only exploring them within class, but also attending trips to art galleries in London and abroad. You'll improve your technical abilities in a variety of materials and techniques, including ceramics, textiles, photography, as well as the traditional painting techniques study a range of topical deba debates surrounding the art world and you're going to broaden your independent understanding and wider cultural knowledge by attending these key galleries both in the UK and abroad. So within the art department you will be able to access a suite of computers with Adobe cloud-based programs including Photoshop. You'll have a range of different photographic equipments to use. We have the digital SLR cameras we have a dark room and we also have a lighting setup as well. We have a kiln and a potter's wheel to enable you to explore ceramics processes. We have sewing machines if you'd like to pursue textile processes. And of course, we have specialist teachers to help you to delve into those different specialist areas. In order to become an A-level art student here at Wooden Park School, you need to have your standard five grade four GCSEs and a minimum of grade five in English. In addition to that, you need to have gained at least a grade six or higher within a GCSE based art subject. How is this subject examined? You have two components and the first component is your personal investigation. This is 60% of your total A-level marks. During this unit, you'll explore your own ideas you're going to explore different materials and techniques and you will examine relevant artists and photographers. This will lead you to a finished outcome. 
In addition to this, you'll also be expected to include written work of no less than 1,000 words. This is where your English understanding will come in very helpful. In component two, you'll have your externally set assignment, which will be given to you in January of year 13, and it is 40% of your total A-level marks. This assignment is aimed at assessing your ability to work independently in response to your own chosen starting point from the question paper. Separate question papers will be produced for each title. You have to decide on one of those question papers to pursue. We will then support you, but you must independently investigate that particular starting point. Both component one and component two are assessed against the same objectives. AO1 is all about developing your ideas through investigating artists, designers, photographers, in order to inspire your project. You must demonstrate analytical and critical understanding. Again, your English GCSE writing will help you with this area. In AO2, you're going to be exploring a range of different materials, resources and techniques, and you have to find the one that you feel most skillful within, and we will help and support you further within that. In AO3, it's all about recording your ideas and your observations. You have got access to a fantastic photographic suite in order to help you progress with AO3. We will then look to see how to develop your own drawing skills in order to fully achieve the marks you wish to in AO3. In AO4, it's all about concluding your project. So through your investigation of AO1, AO2 and AO3, you will have devised and designed a final outcome. That final outcome may well be based in ceramics, it may be based on painting or textiles, that entirely depends on you. So why study the arts at Wooden Park School? We are a team of specialist teachers covering textiles, photography, fine art and ceramics. We engage in trips to London and New York in order to broaden your knowledge and understanding, as well as trips to university degree shows. This will help to enthuse your projects, your ideas and your concepts further. We foster creativity, passion and energy. We are a group of teachers who thoroughly enjoy the course and we know that you will enjoy it too because you have expert guidance for the next stage in your artistic endeavours. If you have any questions at all about this course, please contact one of the heads of sixth form as detailed on this slide.